Hello and welcome to episode 66 of Eve Blower Revolution. Today we'll take a look at Firefield, just an overlook. And I bought this premium package, which should be really useful because it gives me a bunch of packs every day. Next episode, we'll really look at Barb Venture. Today is just an overview, see what's up, see what's new, and I come up with a plan. Before we start, I just want to clarify one thing or two. Uh, first of all, I made a mistake when it comes to damage. Look at that. I just killed this EG. And uh, I got two cards. EG, which is Energy Guard. I got two cards. And I suspect that's because I got 106% chance of boss card draw. It's pretty rare that we get two cards. My damage is 1.5 E81. Last episode, I made a mistake. And I know exactly why. I was freaking out. I was like, why my, is my damage lower than what I originally thought, look, 6.45 E82, that's because I had the Holy Grail. So that explains it. So now you know my real damage, okay, as we speak. When it comes to Leaf Ascension, you see that it busted over 100. I did not want this, but all I did is, uh, you know, have all these fives ready to be Leaf Sanded. Then when I added five more, it started going above 100. So what I did to mitigate that, is every single leaf sanction uh, leaves are being worked on. Okay, so uh, I'm at uh, rare or epic, and uh, I'm using the leaf sanction exploit on every single leaf there is. So this way, because I still feel like it's an exploit unless it's working as intended, but it doesn't seem normal that you go above 100 unless the description is pretty bad. Here's a new boss, which we won't uh, see today. <laughs> And I've been sitting at this bus for a while to get cards. By the way, 40, eh? that's my new limit. So I worked on that. Uh, and I increased my number of floors. I'll show you that also. But we're about to look at fire fields. It's just to put you in the, the situation where I am on my uh, save file. Okay. Now, um, I'm looking for the new tool. They said there was a new tool, right? So that's what I'm looking for. I'm discovering this new uh, <laughs> update. Here it is. So we're going to buy this. What is that? A Borb Sword. So I can uh, kill Borbs and get juice out of them. So we're going to do that a little bit. But you can also get them through converters. So I'll make a pet team, but it's not definitive in this video because I was learning. Next episode, we'll really do it properly, okay? Because I was learning on the fly. Now, I want to kill Borbs, but I'm looking for an area to go. I was not completely done with recovering uh, from my card upgrade. You know how when you upgrade your cards, you have to start over. So I went here. It's a place I chose to start getting this juice. And I'm trying to find where it is in the menu. I, I kind of skipped it. I'll find it in a second. I don't really see the bar, but they're getting killed by my ELBs anyways. So the first thing I did is... Borble to increase the number of Borb that appear. If I say something wrong, please correct me in the comments as usual, okay? Doesn't happen too often. Either you're shy or I'm correct. <laughs> because every time I say if I'm wrong, please comment. But sometimes uh, people correct me, that's perfect. So here it is uh, on the right. You can see just below the Borbs I got uh, in the trillions of Borbs. This might be only an overview, but there's a lot of things to cover. So I'll do my best to uh, streamline this, but it might be a longer video than usual. There's nothing I can do about it. So I continue killing some of those uh, bars, but it doesn't give too much juice. It's really converters and I'm gonna have to uh, work on, but I didn't know at the time I had to explore some more. So how do we get into the fire fields? I expected some wall, something that I had to form. And of course it's the case, but these are not going to be difficult to get at all. There was a bug also, it was patched. You will be a, a witness of that bug. The negative, uh, oh, I forgot how it's called. I'll remember the name when I see it. And this is Borg Venture. We'll take a look at it a little bit, but I won't accomplish much. Those are my Borbs. I received a special Borb because of the supporter pack. There's a shop here, I'll buy a couple of things. I don't know if I'll show you everything, but I already bought a few more things 
without recording. So these are the packs that I get every day now. And it gives, I don't know exactly how this works. I'll know more next episode, but this seems to be mats maybe or things, uh, I don't know, equipment. I don't know. In fact, uh, next episode we'll understand what they really give. This seems to be mats, um, things to help ascend your borbs, maybe equipment. I'm not sure. I don't know. I didn't play uh, since this. I'll play after the video is done. I only have four spots for it's the backpack, but you can upgrade that in the shop. So that's my special uh, bob that I received. It's got 75% more experience, some more rewards and success chance, and it's faster. And that's the basic one. Now, I'm just going to zoom in and check this out. It cost me 23 tokens to start this mission, and I have 100 if you look at the bottom right. Why can't I hit start? That's because there was a bug uh, that was fixed with an update, a patch, sorry. It seems like I was like in the negative, or I was at zero, it shows 100, I'm at zero. And you will see later when I start converting, I will lose tokens instead of gaining them. I was like, what's going on? And everybody was asking that, it's just a bug. And here I'm trying to figure it out. I'm going to skip this part because I'm clicking around, what is going on? So it costs nine, it gives you this, nor be helping with this. I, I wanted to make sure I understood this properly, but I was like, it doesn't make no sense. How do I start a mission? I want to start a mission. <laughs> anyway, let's skip ahead. Here's a temporary pet team is still being built. The bunny is for the conversion. I'm converting right now. The bob you've seen in the butterfly increases the efficiency of every pet. These three will go away. But I'm slowly building it, and it's really next episode that we'll look at it in more detail. But now let's look at this bug. Right now I'm converting juice into tokens. 90, 85, I'm losing tokens. I was like, what's going on? As everybody was asking, as I said. So all I had to do is uh, leave the game and uh, update it, and the bug was fixed. So let's do this right now. Oh, I'm down to 80. <laughs> Okay, now I should be working properly. I updated the game. I'm at zero tokens. And these are the converters. Okay. Bob Juice converter and Bob Tokens converter. And now I can start a mission because I have 45 and it costs 23. If you look at the bottom right now, I'm at 50. So 76% uh, chance of succeeding. So I was looking for one higher. This one is 87% chance. But once again, I think the highest I'll reach for any, well, my better uh, board will be level two. Next episode, though, we'll concentrate on that specifically. We'll visit the fire fields and you'll see that the barb venture is essential to make progress in that galaxy. Okay, the barb venture shop. Let's take a look at it in more detail. So first one, increase the number of Bob Ventures by one. Increase Bob Roster size by one. 3K, not bad. Inventory size. Item craft cost. Adventure experience. Item upgrade count. Refresh duration. Special Bob Recruit chance. And this one's already unlocked, the Jones whatever, that's because of my premium package. And those are all uh, special barbs. And it will take a while before I unlock this. Well, I don't know. In reality, I can't really assume that. We'll see how it goes. We have enough mats. Let's enter the fire fields finally. Let's see what's on the other side. I was really excited about this. And there's a little fella here. He's going to talk to us. Hey, you, please keep me, my brother. Please keep me. Please help me, my brother was kidnapped. But I'm too afraid to leave the cavern. He's in the magical prison at Mount, whatever it's called. We capture a chimera called Spectral something a long time ago. I'm great at reading. But it was able to flee. The prison was locked by a magic lock. And I need a code, okay? So, <laughs> you can go back if you want to read the whole thing. 
And we have a new leaf, access to a new leaf called Coal Leaf. There's an issue though, it's really, really, really hot in there. Um, so I'm gonna have to make a, well, I'm not sure it's the right solution. In fact, it's not gonna work fully. First, yeah, I chose this leaf, uh, this leaf, this blower. I'm not sure it's the right one, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm getting absolutely burned here, it's so hot. So I'll make a resistance build exactly like in the Halloween event. It might help a little bit, I'm not sure. But there's, they talk about heat resistance equipment and there's a new craftable leaf and maybe it might, maybe, maybe have the heat resistance attribute. But look at that. See how slow I recover? Or oh, I don't really recover at all. So I found a solution to that. First, I had to craft my set and I'm going to show you my solution, <laughs> which is you know, I don't know if you do the same thing as me, but I'm not going to sit there and wait to, like, you run away before you die and you sit there forever. Right now I have a floor tower set. Okay, so 12 million floors is my maximum. I'll show you that because I'll destroy it. So it's absolute damage resistance and player HP exactly like I did in Halloween event. And I'll show you my pets, which are the same pretty much, but with the bunny and... This is what we got, so it's um, Butterfly Bunny, the dog for the combo maybe. Kept the pig for now and uh, two pets that give me HP and resistance regen. So let's see if it's better. I felt like it was a little better because I have so much more HP, but I'm still getting absolutely killed. But I have time to get some leaves. By the way, I got 4 out of 50 because it's automated. So heat resistance should help. Crumble? I don't understand it. Like, I don't know what crumble is. I don't have a clue. Let me know in the comments if you know. I would like to know. So that's the deciphering thing that I gotta find. Oh no, once I have it, it appears here. Something like that, because I gotta find it in the Borb Adventure. Bus and Tides and Generation, I'm not sure. And the Craft Forge, of course, for the new Craftable. But well, that's not going to happen for a while, of course. 2.25 million doesn't seem too, too bad, but I have to stay alive long enough. We will unlock this, the 50k here. So I just died because... Look, I died and this is where I realized... Ah! I recover my health super quickly. So what I'm going to do... By the way, the because I stopped my sentence, because I was almost... I had like a little sliver of health. What I'm doing now is I let myself die, I lose something, doesn't matter. Then I come back much quicker than just uh, trying to escape. I haven't done this in a while. I know it might look sloppy, but I'm going to use gravity ball and win and then push it. Okay, it's not 100% um, smooth. Okay, I haven't done this in a while, as I said. But anyways, I'm trying to get some of those uh, coal leaves. Look, zero. I reach one. <laughs> one per... <laughs> one on four offline gain, so it's pretty bad. Anyways, I'm gonna spend a lot of time here. Later on, though, I want to concentrate, like I said, on Barb Venture, but eventually I'll spend time here. And um, there is a description. I don't know if I'm going to show it or not. And here I was trying to find, is there a place where I recover my health quickly? The answer is no. I really gotta let myself get killed, literally. And then uh, I recover super quickly. Then go back, let myself kill, rinse and repeat, and start accumulating those coal leaves and buying a bunch of upgrades. And I'll try to find the, the description of the area where they talk about heat resistance gear. And this uh, attribute right now does not exist. That's why I suspect that the new craftable will have this and I could be completely wrong. And I don't care about Sparta, you can let me know in the comments as well. This is what I was talking about, where they talk about heat resistance gear is recommended. And look at these devastating amount of damage. I'm taking 9.4 billion HP per second and 2% of max HP environmental damage. Environmental. Environment. Here's the cold shop. Heat resistant 10 out of 10. Anti-crumble level 20. But I still get burned pretty bad. Here's the 50k, there's a boss there, isn't there? But I die right away, so I gotta wait to recover. Fire Temple, 
uh, you get to burn even more. 140 billion per second and 30% environmental. Let's say it in French, it's easier. Environmental damage. Ouch. Okay, now I'm full health. Let's go there, see how long I survive and what it's about. Yeah, I was trying to see the boss, but it doesn't exist because I never met it. I was wondering the damage type. It's probably fire. If it's not fire, I'll be very surprised. So I'm equipping my uh, damage shed just in case the boss is already there. The guy I didn't know. And here's this strange box. And that box, when I click on it, you see this? This has to do with the Borb Venture, where I will decipher certain things, although I don't really understand exactly how it's gonna work. Once again, next episode, we'll explore this the best we can. I burn almost all of my gems on Leaf Sension, therefore I won't be able to buy all of this all at once. Just gotta be smart in which order I go. I'm back at uh, trading, so I do have a TGM set, which I didn't show you, Plasma set this time. And I'm trading for, uh, well, I let it go. I get gems, of course, and borbs. Because I may have hundreds of trillions of borbs, but I'll run out if I don't trade. So we're back to trading, which is really interesting. I expected to have a new leaf to be placed in my apartment. And there it is in my house, actually. Uh, but I think I have to craft it the same way it worked with plasma leaf. I did my best to cover everything I could find about fire fields in a very superficial way. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments and next episode I'll cover it before we start dwelling into Borg Venture. I don't know how far we're gonna get, but my goal next episode is to give an overview of the Borg Venture and go as deep as possible. Would I be able to decipher the stuff, whatever it works, I don't even understand it yet, I don't know. But I'm really curious. Now, Christmas is coming. This is a slower month, so there will be space between episodes. We have plenty of content to cover, which is fantastic. When I feel the time is right and I made enough progress, I'll make that video I was talking about. And the series seems to have slowed down. Is it because there was an exodus of players? I don't know. If you feel like sharing this, it would be super cool. You don't have to, it's fine. No matter what I'm staying, I'm too deep in this game to stop. I will only stop when they stop making updates. One day there will be a finale, but I feel like next year this series will still be going. So that's about it. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.